Fair trade coffees are a large part of what we do here at Bridge and specifically for our wholesale customers, we're hearing more and more from businesses that want to learn a little bit more about fair trade coffee. So in this video, we're gonna answer some of the most common questions that you might have about fair trade, what it actually means, how much it costs, and what kind of flavors you can expect. So firstly, what is fair trade coffee? Well, fair trade is a certification that essentially guarantees a better deal for farmers. It currently supports around 2 million farmers around the globe, including coffee and other commodities. And essentially it ensures farmers a decent income and that they can work under humane conditions and have the resources to build a better future. So what does fair trade actually do for coffee farmers? Well, you might know that the price of coffee is incredibly volatile and big fluctuations can have massive impacts on the livelihoods of farmers and their growing communities. So to protect farmers from this, fair trade essentially guarantees farmers that they'll be able to sell their coffee for a certain amount above the market rate. So that gives farmers a safety net and essentially guarantees that even during difficult periods where coffee isn't trading so well on the global market, they'll still be able to achieve a minimum price for their coffee. Fair trade coffee farmers also get additional funding through the Fair Trade Premium, which is a fund that allows them to invest in local community and business projects and to help improve their own production facilities and coffee quality going into the future. So simply put, Fairtrade gives coffee farmers a safety net during difficult times and also a better deal as a baseline. So there's a number of certifications under the name Fairtrade, but the one that we're talking about mainly today is Fairtrade International. They are a people-led non-profit organization that is aiming to improve the impact of coffee on a global scale. So how does a coffee become Fairtrade? So Fairtrade International defines the set of standards for a coffee farm to become Fairtrade, but the actual certification process itself is done by third-party independent certifiers such as FlowCert. So for a coffee to become Fairtrade, there's a detailed list of criteria that it has to meet. Firstly, Fairtrade International only certifies groups of farmers rather than specific farms themselves. The groups must be democratically ran and over two thirds of them must be small scale farms. And in addition, at least 50% of the coffee output from each group has to be produced by those small scale farmers. There's a list of criteria and practices that the farming groups have to adhere to as well. And those include greenhouse gas emissions and energy reductions, soil and water quality, biodiversity protection, pest management, waste management, and prohibits the use of genetically modified organisms. There is also a fee for a group to become fair trade certified, and they'll typically pay for that themselves. The fee goes towards covering the cost of the third party independent certifiers like FlowCert rather than Fairtrade International itself. For a coffee to stay fair trade certified from the farm all the way to the consumer, there's a number of practices that must be adhered to. Green coffee buyers, like the ones that we get our green coffee from, are obligated to pay a minimum price above the market level for their coffee. In order to then sell that coffee with the fair trade mark on the bag, those buyers, roasters, and manufacturers are all subject to regular auditing by the third party certifiers. So when a coffee roaster like us wants to buy, roast, and then sell a coffee, at every step along the way, they have to upload batch codes into an online portal. And that essentially lets Fairtrade International track a coffee all the way from the farm to the cup. So at every step along the way, we know exactly where a coffee has been and where it's going. So when a roaster or a manufacturer like us first wants to buy and sell fair trade coffee, we're initially assessed and then given a nine month right to trade license. After that time, we're then subject to regular auditing by the third party certifiers, and they might come to us maybe once or twice a year to check that all of the fair trade standards and processes are being upheld. So one of the most burning questions about fair trade is how much does it cost? Lots of businesses are sold on the idea of fair trade and how it does a little bit better for the farmers and the growing communities. But most businesses don't just make their buying choices based on morals alone. They also wanna know how much it's gonna affect their bottom line. So how much is it gonna cost and is it gonna be good value for money? So when you stop and really think about it, coffee is incredibly affordable for what it actually is. The fresh fruit of a plant, often on the other side of the planet to where you are, is picked when it's ripe, processed, 
packed and then shipped to a roaster, who then roasts the coffee and then maybe ships it again to you before you drink it. So when you look at all of the things that actually go into a cup of coffee, it's actually incredibly affordable for what it is. And the impact of that is that coffee farmers are usually underpaid for their hard work. Fairtrade aims to combat that by setting a minimum price above the market level of coffee. So Fairtrade farming groups are guaranteed 20 cents above the global commodity coffee trading price, or a minimum of $1.80 per pound of Arabica and $1.20 per pound of Robusta. This is known as the fair trade minimum price. So does that mean for someone who wants to buy roasted coffee, is fair trade coffee more expensive? Typically the answer is yes. So if you're looking to buy fair trade coffee wholesale, based on our own coffees, you can typically expect to pay around three pounds more per kilo for a fair trade coffee versus a non-fair trade coffee of similar levels of quality. So does fair trade coffee taste better than non-fair trade coffee? The answer here really is no, but maybe. Fair trade encourages farmers to invest in their production facilities to improve coffee quality going into the future, but taste itself is not a part of the criteria. So what that means is that no farming groups are prevented from applying to be fair trade based on the quality of their coffee alone. And you can find fair trade coffees all along the quality spectrum from commodity to specialty grade. So whilst fair trade coffees are not inherently better tasting just based on the fact that it says fair trade, the certification does aid farmers in improving their production practices and coffee quality going into the future. So the caveat to that point is that the cheapest available coffees on the market probably aren't also fair trade. So if you're searching for a new coffee, you might be able to find a better quality starting point by simply limiting your search to fair trade coffees alone. But again, coffee quality isn't really the focus here. It's more about farming practices and doing good for the growing communities. So you can buy fair trade coffee by looking on the shelves in your local supermarket or in cafes or through wholesale coffee roasters if you're looking to buy in bulk. Whether you're buying fair trade coffee or not, it's important that you know what kind of an impact your buying habits are having on the industry and the growing communities themselves. The fair trade certification is just one of the many efforts around the globe that is aiming to make a difference by standardizing the price and the practices behind the coffee that you're buying. So if you're a business looking to serve fair trade coffee or maybe organic or Rainforest Alliance as well, you can find out more about our coffee ranges by hitting the link down in the description. If you did enjoy the video, then please feel free to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next week.